Hello and welcome to the video. In this video, we'll go through step 16 of the SAP UI5 walkthrough series documentation. And in this step, we will discuss about dialogues and fragments. So as per the definition, fragments are lightweight UI parts, which can be reused, but they do not have any controller of their own. So in your SAP UI5 applications, fragments can be reused across multiple views of the same application. So whenever you want to define a certain part of your UI, which needs to be used across multiple views, in such cases, you will use a fragment. Or in other words, you can also say that a fragment is basically a container for a set of controls, which can be used across different views of the same SAP UI5 application. So fragments are placed at a runtime in a view and they just behave like normal view content, like any other control uh, if you have, if you would have uh, on the view. Now there are some controls which you cannot directly assign as part of a view. For example, dialogues. Uh, for such type of controls also, you can use fragments. In this step, now we will add a dialogue to our app. So dialogues uh, are special type of controls basically which open on top of your existing view, whatever you are seeing on the screen. And therefore they do not belong to a specific view. So this also means that uh, dialogues uh, must be instantiated somewhere in the controller code and they could also be used across different views. You can consider them as reusable artifacts and they can be used in a flexible manner. Now, as we understand that uh, dialogue is kind of a control which cannot be assigned to a view. Therefore, we will create an XML fragment which will contain a dialogue. And this dialogue can then be used across multiple views of your application. As a preview for the changes for this step of the application, we will introduce a new button which, which will say, say hello with dialogue. And uh, when we press this button, we should be able to see a dialogue on the screen. Coming to the code changes which are required for this particular step. First of all, in our hello panel.view.xml file, we'll add a new button control. And this button control is uh, responsible for opening the dialog when this button is clicked by the user. Here you can see that uh, for this button, we assign a specific ID for our control. This is generally a good practice to assign an ID to our SAP UI5 controls uh, so that uh, we can make use of them in our uh, controller code. We can also see that uh, the press event for this button, we have an event handler function, which is on open dialog. We'll also see the implementation of uh, this particular event handler function. Just to uh, emphasize the importance of assigning an ID to our button control is that uh, it helps us to identify a particular control in our uh, controller logic. Now coming to our fragment, which is the hello dialog.fragment.xml file. This is where we define our fragment and what control we are using inside our fragment. The fragment definition comes from sap.ui.core library and we assign core namespace to this library. Therefore, we use fragment definition from the core namespace. Here you can see that we have a dialog control inside our fragment. Again, we have assigned an ID to this dialog and we have a title description associated with it. One difference uh, which you can spot in the fragment definition when you compare it with a view definition is that in the view definition, you have a property for controller name and uh, we specify the corresponding controller name for our view. However, in our fragment, since our fragments do not have controllers, we do not have to specify any controller name related property in our fragment. Coming to the changes in our hello panel.controller.js file. Here, uh, first of all, we uh, load the fragment module from the SAP UI core namespace. And we have the implementation of our on open dialog event handler. This event handler gets triggered when this button control is pressed by the user on our screen. Now, when the user presses on this button, this event handler gets triggered. Inside this event handler, we have the code to instantiate and uh, open up the dialog control. To do that, 
first of all we basically check whether the dialog control has yet been instantiated or not if it, if it has not yet been instantiated then we load our fragment using the load fragment api and here in the name property we provide the name of our xml fragment so you can see here that uh, this is the namespace of our application uh, this is the view folder and uh, hello dialog is the name of our fragment.xml file so once this uh, fragment is successfully loaded and uh, the promise is returned successfully then we use the o dialog dot open method to open our dialog control so these are the code changes which are required in our application to create a fragment and uh, incorporate the functionality of a dialog control in our application there's another point mentioned here which says that to reuse the dialog opening and closing functionality in other controllers you can create a new file called sap.ui.demo.walkthrough.controller.base controller okay basically you can create a base controller which will extend our ui core mvc controller and we can put all our dialog related coding into this controller we'll understand more about base controller and how it can be used in sap ui5 applications in further down the steps in our walkthrough series we can also see the behavior of our dialog control and how it is getting instantiated and getting opened on the press of this button in the debugger mode so if we press this button which says say hello with dialog so you can see that the on open dialog event handler gets triggered and uh, here because initially the dialog has not yet been instantiated so this is undefined now here what we are doing is that we are loading the fragment using this load fragment api and providing the name of our fragment file here now the fragment has been loaded and uh, once the fragment has been loaded successfully we make use of this o dialog dot open method which will open our dialog and that is what we can see here on the screen so that is it for this video the most important takeaway from this video is to understand the use of fragments which provides the functionality of having a set of controls which can be reused across multiple views of our sap ui5 application in the next video we'll go through step 17 and uh, understand about fragment callbacks till then thank you for watching the video and have a nice day